Okay, here we go. So now we're going to start playing around with things that aren't on the unit circle anymore. So I can't just say, oh, let's take the y coordinate and there's your sine value. Let's take the x coordinate and there's your cosine. That only works if I'm on the unit circle. We are not going to be on the unit circle anymore. And I'll show you how I know. So let's start off right with this question right here. Uh, terminal side in standard position. Go ahead and graph graph 3, 4 on that graph I've just provided you. Go ahead and graph 3, 4. Okay, I'm graphing 3, 4. I want to know what sine and cosine. So first I want to just show you guys how do I know I'm not on the unit circle. Just by the coordinates. I don't know if you guys remember, we did a problem together a couple days ago in the homework where anybody remember the value sine and cosine can only be between what two values? It only goes as high as one and low as negative one. What do you notice about these here? Much higher. So I can't just, it doesn't make sense for me to say, oh, sine's the y coordinate and that equals four. Or is much bigger than one. Sine is only between negative one and one. Okay, so that's how I know right away if these numbers are bigger than one or less than one, then I'm not on the unit circle. So how am I going to answer that question if I just can't take the coordinates anymore? You already know. Other than y equals at, I mean uh, sine equals y. What else do you know about sine? Something else should pop in your head. What else do you know about sine? Other than it's the y coordinate. It's also what? Go ahead. Opposite over hypotenuse, right? So Katoa. But what do you need for that? I need a right triangle. That's what we're about to build. All right? It's, see how it says the terminal side goes through 3, 4? Oh, Jesus. So there's my terminal side of this angle. Okay, there's the angle right there that goes through three, four. We're going to build a right triangle out of it. Okay, we're going to build, how am I going to build a right triangle? Pretty easy. I'm going to take that point and drop it down. And you guys should already know two out of the three sides. How long is this bottom side here? Oh, what was the X coordinate? Three, right? So it's got a length of three. And how about the vertical side here? Four. Four, right? Now, where am I going to go by this? Where's this theta here? It's the reference angle. Okay? It is the reference angle. Theta will always be that reference angle coming from the origin. All right, you ready? So tell me again, what do you know sine's equal to? Because, again, I can't take the y coordinate. It's not on the unit circle. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Be confident. All right, going from that reference angle, what side is opposite? What side is opposite? Four, right? Everyone, opposite is four. Oh, now we come into a problem. I don't know the hypotenuse length, but you have enough knowledge to find it, this unit. How can you find me what the missing side is? Right. Off to the side, what do I need to do? Yeah, yeah. there we go. I, this is why it's all coming together and why I needed to review all of it. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. I need the hypotenuse. I don't have it, but I can use Pythagorean theorem to find it. So what do you have? 9 plus 16 equals c squared. 25, that's not my hypotenuse length. That's equal to c squared. So what is the hypotenuse length? Five. five. Yep. So I can plug five in up here and I can plug it in the denominator. So four fifths. That makes sense because four fifths as a decimal is what? Anybody real quick? 0. 0.8. Is that bigger than one? So that makes sense. That could, that could be a sign answer because it's less than one. It also asked me to find which other one? Cosine theta. Okay, I can't use the x-coordinate, right? The answer is not 3. That sounds ridiculous. But what else do I know about cosine? So, ka. Adjacent. Adjacent over hypotenuse. Good. What 
What's adjacent to my angle? Three. Three. And my hypotenuse? Five. Five, and that makes sense because that's going to be less than one. Good. Ooh, it's asking me for one more piece of info, though. Find sine, find cosine, and... What else do I need to find? You guys are right here today? Yeah, what is, what is, what angle measure is that? Theta, what angle measure is that? All right, so now what I'm looking for is, okay, what is actually, how many degrees is that angle? Well, you know our answer should be between what? Where am I, guys? I'm in the first quadrant. My answer should be between zero and 90, right? But how do I get that number between zero and 90? You're going to use the work you already did. Okay, so go ahead and pick one right now. Let's, let's as a group, you want to use sine or cosine? We're going to get the same answer. Okay, let's use sine. So what do we know already? We know sine theta is equal to four-fifths. And I'm looking for what theta is. Now we can use the calculator. Go to your equation. Because remember, theta is just a variable, right? It's like an X or any other Greek letter here. So I'm going to go to my calculator. Go over to equations now. If something's in there, clear it out. We're going to go sine, and I don't have a theta button. Sorry, we're going to have to go sine x equals, what was our four-fifths? Ah, sine x equals four-fifths. Everyone have it? Go, solve. Ooh, it's going to ask you for an interval. And we're going to be smart about this. We're not going to go negative 1,000 to 1,000 and get all these answers. Oh. Between what? What's our answer have to be between? Zero and 90. Okay, 0 and 90. Let's tell the calculator it's got to be between 0 and 90. Uh, is everyone is everyone getting this? No. no. How, why am I getting this? <laughs> Here. Is everyone getting just one yeah, answer? Radiance. Thank you. Thank you. One job, Mr. Carlino. Get out of get out of radians and into degrees. God. At least somebody knows what's going on here. Let's get out of there and into degrees mode. Okay, let's go back. Fifty-three degrees, right? Nearest degree, fifty-three. So that's a fifty-three degree angle. Okay. So that's what we're going to start doing now. Build a triangle, find the sine, cosine, and then find the angle. But we're going to be in different quadrants. I, I didn't mention it. How do I know both my answers were supposed to be positive? First quadrant. What's positive in the first? Everything. Keep that in mind because now we're going to switch quadrants. Let's go. Okay, I'm asking you the same three questions, but now I'm in a different quadrant. Now it goes through six negative five. So find where six negative five is. What quad am I in? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, five. Yep. You ready to build your right triangle? Now I know some of you. Wait, whoa, whoa. Mm, is it going to be that one or is it going to be that one, right? Because both of them are right triangles. You think it's that one? Yep, it is. But let me give you a little quick trick. The old bow tie. The old bow tie. What do I mean by the old bow tie? That's how you can figure out what your triangle looks like, depending on the quadrant we're in. Okay, so if you want to remember the bow tie, that's how I always remember how the triangle should look. Okay. All right. You like, you love it. Uh, how about lengths? What about up top here? This should be six and here. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Hey, not just five. Look where it is. Going down, right? Negative five. 
Be careful there. Everyone all right? Why it's negative? What? Okay, and wait till I find one of the answers, Richie. It'll make even more sense why I need to make that negative. Uh, all right, you ready? Uh, so here's my angle, right? Here's theta. You go from the reference angle. So let's help me find, what do we have to find? Sine theta first. Opposite over hypotenuse. What's opposite? Negative five, right? Over, oh, don't have that in hypotenuse again, do I? So what do I have to do off to the side? Pythagorean. Little Pythag, right? Six squared plus, be careful, make sure that negative five's in parentheses if you're using your calculator equals C squared. And again, you wanna solve this by hand, go ahead. If you wanna plug it into your solver, go ahead. Your call. And I remember, I don't want a decimal. We're doing exact values, which means uh, radicals or fractions here. Man, thank you. That's why you need to put parentheses. All of these numbers should come out to be positive after you're done squaring them. Again, no decimals. Keep the radicals, please. Keep the radicals. What do you guys have so we can have consensus here? Square root of? 61. 61, 61, 61. 61. 36 plus 25, yep. All right. Anybody know why that's a no-no from last year? Can't have a radical in the denominator, right? But look, I'm not going to ask you how you fix it. Just plug it into your calculator. You'll calculate it. The num works will fix it for you. Negative 5 over radical 61. So go back to your uh, calculations. Negative 5 divided by the square root of 61. It'll do it for you. So negative 5 radical 61 over 61. Okay, how about cosine? Cosine? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, what's adjacent? Six, Six over radical, 60. radical 61. Again, I'm, I won't accept it with the radical in the denominator, especially when your calculator will just fix it for you. Six square root of 61 over 61. Going back to Richie's comment earlier, if you did not know that that was a negative, what, what do you know about sine in the fourth quadrant? ASTC, what do you know about sine in the fourth? Should be negative. That's why my answer should have been negative. Okay, so it does matter there. You see why it should have been negative five here now? Okay, even if you forget, say you forget it, Richie, though, you still got to remember you're finding sine in the fourth quadrant, so my answer should be negative. Yeah, but I was just Well, I'm not saying the distance is negative. I'm saying going down that way. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're all good. All right. You're ready to find theta now. And I just have a preference. If at all possible, use the one that's positive. Okay. Use one of the answers that was positive. I don't think it'll affect it. But for now, let's just use the answer that's positive. So I'm going to use cosine instead of sine here. So cosine theta equals... 6 radical 61 over 61. Yep. I 
tried before you said to do the positive one. I did the um, sign of kingdom as no solution. I had to do it. You did sign of sine x equals negative 5 over radical 61? Yeah. And then what did you put in for your uh, that, your interval? Zero, nine. Okay, that's, that's the problem. I'll show you why. Uh, so you're, and, and, I, and Harper, I still want you to do it using the negative. I want you to tell me if it still comes out to be the same. All right, I, and here's why. Ready, everyone? Go ahead. I'll do it with you. I'm glad we made that mistake. Here you go. I'll go with you. Calculations, right? Get, get rid of that. Cosine of x equals, where are we here? Equals, what do we have? Negative, oh, we use, we use cosine, right? You, you, you use your sign. I'm using cosine. Oh, I thought you meant the problem was. No, the problem is your interval that you picked, the 0 through 90. That was the problem, not this. So negative, what was it for us? 5 radical 61? Anybody help me out? Yeah. Radical yeah, no, 61? It's, 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 All right, thank you. That, just try not to go back and forth between slides. 6 radical 61, 61 over. 61. Uh, that's the one painted. Is that happening to people that? Press the, press the right arrow. Okay. So you guys teach me some stuff. There we go. I just knew how to do it from the beginning. Uh, 61, we good? Execute. Okay, now we're here. All right, Harper just mentioned, hey, I just plugged in 0 to 90 and I didn't get an answer. Well, that's, that's the problem, though, is because where am I now? I'm in the fourth quadrant now, right? So I don't want to go 0 to 90. Where do I want to go? 270 to 360. And there we go. Okay, we get about, what was it, nearest degree, 320. Does that still work with the sign, with the negative? Just yeah. check for me, okay? What did we say, 320? Yeah. Harper, does it still work with? Yeah. Okay, so you can pick any one. All right, I always have a tendency to pick the positive one, but you can pick anything now. Just know what quadrant you're in. Questions? Yep, go ahead, Eden. Negative 40 also. Negative 40. I always would keep your answer positive. Technically, I guess not, but try to keep your answer positive. Okay. Other questions going? Yeah, I would probably, it doesn't say a positive degree measure, so I'd probably still accept that. Yeah, I just put my yeah. interval as like, interval B. Yeah. Oh, just came out that. There we go. You walk on. You, <laughs> sorry, you're, you forgot. You're right. I did say thank you. I forgot. My bad. God. Got rattled. Everyone's good here? Okay. All right, last one here. I'm going to try to flip it on you and see if you can figure this one out here because I don't give you I, I don't give you the point here. I'm going to tell you the cosine value right off the bat and I'm going to tell you which quadrant are we in. Three. three. All right. Make your own diagram now. Get in quadrant three for me. Think of the bow tie. Figure out how your triangle's got to look here. Figure out how the triangle's got to look. Do your bow tie if you need to. There's my right triangle. I got my theta here. Make sure it's always the reference angle. Okay, notice I didn't give you a point, but you can still label two of those sides. You can still label it. How? I gave you cosine is negative 8 over 17. What do you know about cosine? Other than it's the x-coordinate, which I can't use. It's what? Ah, uh, cosine. Adjacent. adjacent over hypotenuse. So ready? What can I put to the adjacent side to theta? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Eight. And look where it is. Richie, look where it is. Respect. 
I just labeled this eight because uh, what's cosine equal to? Adjacent over, right? And that gave me it was negative eight over 17, right? I'm asking you, I put the eight there because it's adjacent, but I need a little more detail. What? It, it's going this way, right? So that's why it's got to be negative. I'm going back to your other one where we put the sixes down. It was negative. All right, redeem yourself. Where should the 17 go? Here? What? Adjacent over? Oh, hypotenuse over there. And by the way, hypotenuse, never negative. Okay, it's only the, side, the other two sides. Are you good? I know you rattled a little bit. It's all right. All right, how about sine now? That's what? Opposite over? Hypotenuse problem, anybody? Problem? Problem? We don't have these Thank sides. you. I don't have the opposite side. So what can I do to find the opposite side? Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem. Be careful what you do here because it's always been C squared, C squared. But now, negative 8 squared in parentheses plus, is it going to be 17? No. Hot garbage it's not. No. No, it's just going to be B squared. And 17 is your hypotenuse, all right? So you guys can go ahead and make sure that you get negative 8 in parentheses. What's up? Negative? Does it matter? Yes, this is, hypotenuse is never negative. Okay. The 8's got to be negative, Mari, because see how where I am on the x-axis? I'm yeah. on the negative side of the x-axis, so that's why I put a negative there. And also, too, if you and if you forget, Marty, it's okay. You're about to find sine, right? Yeah. What quad am I in? Three. So I'm like, all right, I'm finding sine and quad three. My answer better be negative because okay. only T, tangent, is positive there. And what are we getting for the side length? So 15. Oh, what are we getting? 15. 15? Yeah. All right, look, look. Yeah. Yeah, you have to, your calculator ain't going to tell you that. We got to realize that when I plop a 15 there, that it's got to be negative because I'm going down. Matt, you good? Yeah, sure. I'm just in the middle of the teaching class. Every triangle has 180 degrees. Okay. All right, so here we go. Fill it in now. Opposite. Opposite. Negative 15 over 17. Now look, again, I don't realize I forget to put the negative in the 15. My answer is not going to be negative. It's going to be positive. And why is that incorrect? I'm in quad three and finding sine. I know it's got to be negative. And then what else? I'm just finding theta now. Okay. So which one do you want to use, sine or cosine? They're both negative. It doesn't matter. So go ahead. You can do either one. But now when you get to the interval piece on your calculator, what are you going to plug in for the interval? 180 to 270. Yep. Yeah. 180 to 270. You guys don't understand and will never appreciate how hard this used, how much harder this used to be without those calculators. I'm using just the graphing calculator because your graphing calculator does not have this capability. Is it negative 180 or just 180? Stay positive. 240. Two. Two. Two? Yeah. No matter if you use sine or cosine. Questions? Okay, look, I'm sorry, guys. We didn't, I'm, I'm not going to be able to get to, I'll do number four tomorrow in class. I didn't get it, be able to have you guys time to work on the assignment. 
I got to move on tomorrow. Okay, whether you practice this or not tonight, and I will take any questions that you have tomorrow. So that's on you guys. All right, some days we don't get time to practice.